Getting that prescription filled, now that's another story here. We've been telling you about the pharmacy deserts being created in Northeast Ohio. Rite Aid just completed closing all but four of its locations in Ohio. Just two years ago, it had more than 200 stores open. Mass closures of pharmacies across the state continue as Rite Aid battles through bankruptcy. CVS and Walgreens both restructure. Once it may have felt like there were two pharmacies at every intersection, but now a new study shows just how far some people are driving for the drugs they need. Here's News 5's Clay Lepard. When it comes to gas, food, and charm, there's no shortage in Orwell, Ohio. But when it comes to maintaining good health, Levi Yoder's wellness shop is about as close as you'll get to what the doctor ordered. That's because here in Orwell, there's no pharmacy. And it's been that way for seven years since Grand Valley Drug abruptly closed. It was awful. You know, a lot of people um, were devastated. Orwell is what's called a pharmacy desert, meaning there's no place for picking up prescriptions within at least 10 miles. People have had to drive 20, 30 miles, um, and, they, and that's one of the biggest questions that they have in the residents here in the village. Um, you know, where they have to go to get their, their prescriptions. So you're going to Chardon, Middlefield? Mm -hmm. Warren, um, sometimes even Pennsylvania as far to get their prescriptions filled. So as they evaporate from certain neighborhoods, um, I think certain critical services um, are, are lost. A new study from Ohio State University calls out the consequences of pharmacy deserts like Orwell and just how common they're becoming. And what was surprising is that of the 3,000 counties that we looked at, um, roughly half had at least one pharmacy desert in that uh, county. Concerns that without a pharmacy, the overall health of a community will suffer, with many no longer taking their prescribed meds, especially for chronic conditions like diabetes and hypertension. And this study only used data through 2020, meaning it didn't include the barrage of headlines since, talking about closure after closure. And there's been a real um, consolidation of the market. Whether it's Walgreens, Rite Aid, or an independent pharmacy, Dr. Timothy Pollock worries health will take a back seat for those who can't make the longer drive. Well, this is a problem that's on the rise and, and probably the whole story is not uh, fully been told. When the pharmacy in Orwell closed, it didn't affect Levi Yoder much. But when the Rite Aid in nearby Bristolville closed too, his outlook on his cholesterol meds changed now that the nearest pharmacy is at Walmart 20 minutes away. I negotiate with myself and sometimes I don't take the meds I'm supposed to because of it. Why is that? Because I don't want to go to Walmart. After Grand Valley Drug closed in Orwell, that drugstore became a flower shop and now a t-shirt store. But for village manager Tammy Pentick, filling a storefront is about more than just maintaining charm. We need to take care of our own. And to me, the importance over having a pizza shop, nothing against the pizza shops, but I think that's, that's a bigger priority than having a gas station or a pizza shop. Healthcare should be number one. In Orwell, Clay Lepard, News 5.